live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Hi, Grayson. How are you? Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Now, Grayson, this is an incredible story. You are 12, is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. And uh, you invented something called brick sticks. Brick sticks are reusable, removable, restickable cling decals for plastic bricks like Legos. And they're very cute um, uh, stickers, too. You can build really anything with it, like a burning house or... A cafe. We've got some great stuff for you here. We do. Right here, right now. She's only 11 years old, but she is the brains behind a local company that benefits children's charities. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. So you're a big time businesswoman and you're 11 years old. Why did you want to do this? Why was this so important to you? My mom has always told me that my grandfather is my guardian angel, and I thought it would be so amazing if every kid out there that was going through something rough could be able to look to their guardian angel for advice or help. If your little one is having a hard time learning to ride a real bike this just could be the answer it's called the glide bike there are no pedals kids as young as two can hop on and guide themselves along it teaches them balance and they come in all kinds of sizes including a larger size for adults who've never learned to ride a bike which can be really intimidating. these products are really going to help out your valentine so you're gonna love it first off i want to tell you about the zero chroma vario now this not only comes for the ipad but also for the iphone what's so beautiful about this andy first off it's lightweight it has 16 different angles that you're able to use. You can use it either in landscape or portrait mode. Tell me a little bit about how Pixie Project is different. I do notice that we're on play toys right now. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, all the animals, cats and dogs, are free roaming. Our dogs that are available for adoption play in a dog daycare with people's pets that are here for a day of daycare. Our cattery is totally free roaming. There are no cages. Mark Melrose told us, for now, pink slime has passed the test of time. As an emergency physician, I am quite sure that if the addition of pink slime to meat products was dangerous, we would see countless cases of food poisoning on a regular basis, and we never see that. Mind-body treatments, we might not understand how they work, and I don't think that they should be used exclusively because there's a whole range of conventional medicine which we know is helpful and useful. ABC News has word tonight that Al-Qaeda is planning a new strategy to outwit airport security. The surgeon would open the abdominal cavity and literally implant the explosive device in and amongst the internal organs. Right in there. Right in between the intestines, the liver, and the stomach. Yeah. This morning we have a special treat, the Pincentus Chorus of Maine. Portland, Maine has become a popular place for refugees looking for a home here in the United States. It's where 30 girls from 14 different countries have come together to form the Pincentus Chorus. We really think that uh, there's so much out there that these girls can teach others. Hey, J.D. and Audra, we know your kids want to play outside, which is why I'm here with mom blogger Meredith Sinclair to find out the newest toys to get kids outside having fun in nature. <laughs> What's great about these, these are from Imperial, and this is the Chaos Launcher and the uh, Battle Pump. And what's great about the pump is you don't now have to only fill up your water balloons at home. You can take these anywhere. You ready, guys? Ready? Let's launch them. Go! They go up to 125 feet. So it's all about getting soaked, hey, you want right? Oh. No more simple battles. <laughs> Epic battles this year. <laughs> this is fun, Meredith. I think they're going to have a blast Keep doing this. Thank you so much. Thank you. New game show, Hoda. It what is so it? adorable. You can see that see it here. It's called to be a Broadway star. Uh, you, you go to acting school and you, and you go and you get an agent and you, well, that's way over here. A special thanks to producer Ken Davenport, the creator of the new board game, Be a Broadway Star. Wednesday and joining us today is the museum's director of education, Hyla Crane, and the creator of Tutable series, Jill Todd. How are you ladies? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So let's talk a little bit about the fundamentals of this project. Well, we're very excited. I'm with the Music Intelligence Project where we produce the tunables, and we really set out to design a program that would reach all young children to teach them the fundamentals of music. And we have not only a, a home program, but a 
program for schools, and now we're able to bring that to the museum through Stepping Stones, and we are very excited to bring She's it. a mom and a chef and the restaurateur of the year. She's all about helping busy moms make good old-fashioned comfort food for their families, and she is with us live. I'm so excited to get some tips from Lisa Schroeder. Oh. This is a little ring. You can get them at glamglobes.com, $19.99, free shipping. A portion goes to charity. You can slide the little tray out underneath and keep changing the images. Oh, I you can make little photos oh. or little snow globe rings. Shake them up, you have the snow, but then when you look in, it says Wendy Williams, or you can put your yeah. son. There's so many great we ideas show logo here. to do with that. And we have some wine here, too, from yes, Stone Wolf Vineyard, in, um, Stone Wolf Vineyard yeah. in, in Oregon. Stone Wolf was our founding brand here. Okay. However, Rascal is something we came up with in the last couple of years, dealing with the economy and some sales issues there. This is a wonderful value wine that you can find in stores all over Oregon. I'm at Dranum Lake Flowers. And Kim, I brought you some of my finest hard-boiled eggs today. <laughs> For what? What are we going to do with them? Deviled eggs. No, 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 no! We're going to make my special um, botanical-inspired Easter egg. So that's why there's no mayo here. That's right. Okay. Well, looking for a new approach to Mother's Day flowers this year, you can always start at a grocery store floral section and then spruce it up with your own for less money, a whole lot of less money. Here to show us how to do that is Kim Foran with Geranium Lake Flowers. It smells so wonderful here. According to Flores, Kim Foran, she's the owner of Geranium Lake Flowers. And Kim, good morning and welcome. <laughs> good morning. Happy Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, thanks. It's coming. It's coming up on Monday. So we've got to be thinking about this. And a lot of us just buy the $100, and that's a lot yeah. of money, you know, red roses every year. Yeah. And it doesn't seem that inventive. You don't have to do that. No, not at all. And I brought some ideas here that I wanted to kind of think outside of the box. All a right, little bit more creative. Far LTD has got some awesome figurines over here. Uh, let's see if we can get a comment. Here's a T-Rex. That was always one of my favorites. These are snoozies. They're the best slippers I've ever had in my life. They're $12. They're they are the softest things ever. I'm going to let you guys see this pair. This is literally really like, oh can you gosh, tell? It's the yeah. most plush. They look delicious. She's a local mompreneur. Yeah. And her new product is all about making kids feel better. Sue these suckers are herbal supplemented uh, little package of goodness right here. They're actually pouches. You can freeze them or not, but we think they're fun frozen. Um, they're infused with all natural fruit concentrates, and then um, we add herbal remedies to them. And they're for kids. To really get inside the head of the consumer, we need to hear from someone who's actually done that, who understands how people think better than you and I do. That's why I am thrilled to have Damon John, a.k.a. The Shark, the fashion designer, author, and businessman, best known for being the founder and CEO of FUBU. You know, I didn't have much money growing up. My mother sold my clothes. I watched her. I went home. I bought $40 in material. I sewed the hats. And I went outside and sold them. Damon, you started a FUBU clothing line, a $350 million business. You actually started, though, selling clothes on the street. What does it take to, to make that leap from selling on the street to creating a business? I think it's about, you know, doing something you love, but then also having a plan and uh, going through with it and not letting anybody tell you no.